This is the last um, project before we go back to Vermont. This is a, uh, a BR Mariner Mariner BR Mariner knot meter uh, that is on my uh, Kestrel, my Seafarer Kestrel. Um, you know, the, the, the meter seems all in really good shape. I've taken it out. That's why it looks sloppy here in the hole. I've got to uh, put. Uh, I've got to do some caulking around it. Put it back into the uh, hole that it was cut out for. Anyway, uh, but in the meantime, the thing that concerned me was that I couldn't get the paddle wheel free uh, down underneath. It wasn't spinning freely, and obviously the knot meter is not going to work uh, without it. BR Marine is no longer making these. Uh, they're out of, out of, uh, well, let's out of production, I guess you should say. And so what I've done here, I've gone inside and this thing is put together very simply. Looks like they use 5200 going through the deck. Um, you know, going, I'm sorry, going through the hull down below. And, uh, you know, it's nicely put in. It's very, you know, and the, the, the unit that comes up out, uh, comes through the hull, the through hull itself, is made out of uh, probably nylon, something like that. And it's very simple. I mean, this whole unit right here that you're looking at, this is the sending unit, okay? And it has a little paddle wheel in the bottom of it. And this paddle wheel is the thing that, that uh, travels, and it has to travel freely, has to be able to spin in order to be able to send the, uh, uh, send the signal of how fast the boat is going through this wire. And this wire goes up, you know, down through the hull and up, and it comes out right there up behind the knot meter and, and travels in and, and gives the signal uh, in order to uh, tell you how fast the boat is going. Well, anyway, the, the problem was that this paddle wheel, and I looked all over the internet to see if I could find another sending unit, was was sticking. It would go a little way and then it would catch. It would go a little way and then it would catch. Well, I, I, was, I was thinking it was something down inside. It wasn't down inside. What it is is the edge of each one of, in the, each one of these edges on the paddle wheel is, uh, is you know, it, 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 over a period of time, it builds up corrosion on the edge. And those, that corrosion catches on the down inside of, of, the, of the, um, the tunnel there that the paddle wheel is traveling in. Well, I, I kept working on it, and then I, I thought, well, wait a minute. It's, it's a stupid corrosion here. So I started scraping down the edges of the paddle wheel, and lo and behold, and I don't know if I can do it here with one hand, once I scraped down all the edges of the, of, of the paddle wheel, it worked perfectly. Now, here's the catch, or maybe a <laughs> bad word. Um, here's the thing. Right there, I think I've got a broken, I think there's a, a, a broken paddle to the paddle wheel, but I don't know how much difference that's going to make. I, I think you can see right there what I'm talking about right there, I think, was probably another part to the paddle wheel. But the cool part is, now that I've done all that scraping, I, I can't, I'm, I, yeah, there you, there you go. You can see it. It's, it's traveling very freely. And, and uh, I'm hoping uh, once I get the, everything, can, you know, finish cleaning it up and put it all back together, I'm going to be able to, to uh, get this thing working, and then I won't have to worry about figuring out what I'm going to do with that big old hole up through the, uh, 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 that big old hole up into the cockpit, because right now I'd like to be able to just put this back down through, and it has this wonderful locking collar, obviously I want to torque this back down, this lock locking collar goes down on top of it, threads into place, and lo and behold, there's your sending unit through hull with a paddle wheel down there and exposed so that uh, you... Uh, uh, so that it can send the signal up to your up to your knot meter up in the cockpit. So, anyway, uh, for those of you who have an old BR knot uh, BR Mariner uh, knot meter, uh, there's a possible solution. Um, I'm thinking it's going to work. We'll see. So, anyway, thanks for your interest. Uh, I hope this helps somebody else uh, figure it out for their own boat. Thanks. Bye.